card actually, three wheel, uh, safe combination. Uh, this is the combination dial, and this is the opening index, and this is the changing index. So what we're going to do right now, it's set to factory code. Well, it's not set to factory. There's a big argument, what is factory? Uh, I've seen uh, 30, 55, 40, uh, 10, 20, 30, 30, 40, 50. This is set right now on 20, 40, 60. One of the biggest problems is everybody gets, it's always uh, on this style of lock, the S&Gs and the, uh, uh, the three-wheel Lagarde's three-wheel S&Gs, is the biggest mistake everybody makes is just spin it half a dozen times counterclockwise. Don't worry about how many times. And don't go like this. You're just knocking the, you know, people who go like this. You just want to go slow and steady. I always put my thumb about here. And we want to come dead on, so we're going to go about half a dozen times. Stopping on your first number, and our first number is 20. Then we're going to pass 40, going clockwise, stopping on the third time. So we go once, twice, stopping on the third time. And our next number is 60, so we're going to pass it once, stopping on the second time. And now we go gently right to open until she stops. The safe is open. This right here solves the majority of your uh, safe lockouts. Uh, people just don't dial it in properly, we go dead on. There's other things to, uh, if the safe won't open after doing this, there's all sorts of other methods. Today we're just going to go through uh, how to dial it in and how to change the combination. Now to change the combination on this, well, with the safe door open, of course, because we have to come from the back on the change hole, what we're going to do is we're going to have the door would be open, we're going to dial in our number, and this time we're going to the changing index. And we're not going to go open. So we're going to go, again, half a dozen times. Our first number is 20. So we're going to stop at 20. Our next number is 40. Again, this is the changing index. We're going to pass 40 once, twice, stopping on the third time. And then our next number is 60. We're going to pass it once. We're going to stop when we hit 60. Now we're not doing right to open. Then we're going to take our change key, the change key hole. We're going to put the change key in there. Turn it to the right until she stops. And never, never force these. Now we're going to change the combination to a new numbers. So we, we've got the change key in. It allows the wheels to, to turn freely so we can change it. And we're going to go with probably the most popular number out there is 36, 24, 36. Stopping on our first number. So I've done half a dozen times. Stopping on my first number is 36. Again, we're going by the changing index. The next number is 24, so pass it once twice, stopping on the third time, 24, and then we're going to do our next number is 36, we're going to pass it once, and we're going to stop on the final number, hold it there, remove your change key. So I'm going to test my combination three times. So I'm going to go half a dozen times to the left, nice and steady. Again, don't bang it. Just nice, steady. Stopping on my first number is 36. I got to pass 24 stopping on the third, so I pass it once, twice, stopping on the third time, 24. I'm going to pass 36 once. Stopping on the second time. And then I'm going to go right to open. And the combination is now opened. So in conclusion, just check the heck out of it. You check it three times. You check it once locked. The customer has checked it three times, opening and closing it. You will not have a callback on this safe.